Schnitaker. Yeah, Bryson, you guys have got a lot of players, yourself included, returning who got experience playing on that offensive line last year. How important do you think it is as a group for you guys to have that continuity and comfortability with each other as you go into this season? Oh, it's really important because having that continuity up front, everything starts inside the trenches, whether it be O-line or D-line. So for us, just uh, to have that camaraderie is a big deal for us. Uh, Todd Gibson, go ahead. What uh, What's it like going up against that defensive line? You got some salty guys over there in practice. Um, how's that uh, battle been going in, uh, in practice? Oh, it's been great. The competition is great. Uh, iron sharp is iron day in and day out, so we love it. Uh, David Thompson. Hey, Bryson. I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, curious after a week or so of practice, just anything that's really stood out to you about e either your position or, or just this team in general? Uh, I just know that this team has a chance to be special as long as we keep grinding uh, day in and day out to put the work in. Well, we know what we are capable of, so it's just time to put it on the play. So what what is the expectation for this team? Uh, ACC Championship. Any, anything, is it is it ACC championship or bust, or do you guys have other intermediate goals? AC championship, that's, that's, what, it, that's what it is, yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Jonas. Bryce, I just want to ask how important is it that you have guys on the line like yourself and Icky who have, who have cross-trained and played at different positions. You play guard and tackle. Icky's done the same. Um, how important is that? And then do you guys mm -hmm. make sure you recruit guys or bring in guys who are versatile and can play multiple positions up front? Well, uh, it's uh, really good uh, just being able to be versatile because if something happens among the O-line, it's, uh, it's way easier to uh, just allow someone to step in and just take over that position rather uh, instead of you searching for depth. You know, as far as recruiting goes, um, I just feel like as an offensive lineman, if you're being, if you're being recruited, you shouldn't want to have a one-position mindset. Never come in with a one-position mindset. Be, uh, be capable of doing many things, and you'll just increase your value. And just a follow-up, what's the biggest difference between guard and tackle? And do you have a, a preference? Uh, things that guard tend to happen a lot quicker because the uh, the D linemen are like right up on you when you're uh, playing inside on the offensive line. And then that tackle is a little bit more time. And as far as preference goes, uh, I wouldn't say I had too much of a preference, but that's just me. Uh, Alex Stoyer. Yeah, Bryce, and we've talked to, you know, like Devin Leary about how much it helps to have a kind of normal offseason with Tim Beck. From an offensive lineman perspective, I mean, how much does that kind of continuity and now familiarity with the system and the schemes that he likes to run help going into this year? Oh, it's great. I feel like everybody's playing much faster. You got, you got a quick grasp on it. And then for us to have an offseason, because, you know, last year COVID messed everything up. So for us just to be back together and just get around that family environment again, it's just it's been great. Uh, Justin Williams, you're up. Bryson, as an offensive lineman, I'm sure you were excited about getting to, into full pads yesterday. I'm just curious, from your perspective, what was the energy like at the line of scrimmage, and did anybody surprise you once you guys were able to get into full pads yesterday? Oh, I just – I feel like the energy level was great inside the trenches. Uh, as far as, like, any surprises, I feel like uh, everyone pretty much had a, a good day, like – like I said, like with this team, we feel like we can win the AC championship. So every day, like the competition is high level, like it's high energy every day. Like there's no let off. And Bryson, I know you were asked about the team's goals, but as an offensive line group unit, has there been any area of emphasis this off season that coach Garrison has focused on with you guys that you want to get better at this season? Uh, specifically just improving in the past game, uh, just working on pass game fundamentals. You always want to improve on the run game. That's a big deal for offensive line. So just always looking for ways to improve, whether it be Thank run or pass. Yep. Thank you. Go ahead, Jonas. Yeah, I wanted to ask about Dylan McMahon. I saw he just got put on a, a freaks list by um, yeah. one, of, one of the outlets. Mm -hmm. um, he's a guy who came on kind of strong late <clears throat> in the year, probably a lesser known guy to an extent with that line. Can you kind of tell us about him and what makes him so special in, in that guard position? Uh, it's the freak list. Like, he's capable of doing anything. Dylan might be the most flexible offensive lineman I've ever seen in my life. He could probably do a full split if you ask him to. But uh, that freak list is no joke. Like, when you look at the weight room numbers and what he's capable of, like, you'll see why he can do what he does on the field and is, uh, as versatile as he is. What, what's the one thing he's done in the weight room that 
and and on the field to kind of make you like, whoa, like I've been here for a while and I haven't seen anybody like do it like that. The the technique on the power clean, I think Dylan been power cleaning since he was like in the sixth grade. So like to see him power clean is like as soon as the weight goes up, it's coming down. He's not at the bottom like it was a feather. So it's pretty crazy. Uh, go ahead, Justin. Bryson, we know you're Mr. Versatility on the offensive line, you know, being able to go back and forth from guard to tackle. But just out of curiosity, do you ever practice taking snaps at center as like an emergency, you know, backup center type role? Oh, I have before, but not as far as an emergency backup role. Not as an emergency backup role. Okay, thanks. Does anybody else have any questions before we switch them up? Very good. Okay. Thank you, Bryson. Appreciate it. All right. Yep. If you guys.